Today's video is going to be on the .264 130 grain Swift Sirocco 2 and I have no sponsorships these guys don't fund me in any way but I'm still going to give them a shout out the sub MOA shooting because they sell these sample packs which have really helped save me a lot of money so go check them out if uh, you're wanting to save a little money doing some low development or doing ballistics tests like this you don't have to buy a whole big box of them you can save some money just buying a sample pack first round will be my reduced load other side because that one was moving at 1,940 feet per second and there's the bullet right there so you have the time it goes through that piece of leather and board you have it opening up at about inch and seven eighths, and then you see that good, more explosive wound channel from two and a half inches to almost nine inches. It tapers down, and you got good permanent wound cavity to just past the 15 inch mark where it really tapers down, but still carrying permanent wound cavity past the 21 inch mark with the leading edge of that bullet at 25 and 3 eighths. I am gonna pull this bullet quick so that it's shooting my high velocity load. I don't lose it. But I'd have to say that performed pretty awesome at that lower velocity. I like that very consistent, very even pedal peeling back, which is part of the reason it went straight and didn't veer so bad in the jail. for a new table here. Alright. Bring you around to the 
this other side again. That one was going 2,848 feet per second. You can see that bullet right there. So we have that opening up almost immediately. With that massive portion of that permanent wound cavity at the one inch mark to just past we got really good to the eight inch mark but you're still carrying good permanent wound cavity from the eight inch mark to just past the 13 inch mark where it starts to pin line and that leading edge is 20 and 7 eighths I'm going to go ahead and pull that bullet out at home when I do my more in-depth overview of the ballistics performance of these bullets. But overall, it's definitely a phenomenal performing bullet. may have to consider these for hunting in the future. primary reason I did test these bullets is I did have somebody ask if I would test them. I found sub MOA shooting where I could get a 12 pack cheap and went ahead and tested. Hope you guys enjoy the video.